Grand Rising Scorpios and welcome back for another beautiful love reading. We're still in sweet timber and everything is good in Scorpio's world. So Grand Rising and shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for returning to this channel. We will be going live either tonight or tomorrow night to do our October uh, fall energy or uh, the forecast for October. And I already know that it's going to be good, Scorpio. This is a beautiful day um, that I do this reading for you. And I was just thinking here and Spirit just showing me so many things like, like I was thinking about these particular movies. Like, let, let's say, um, let's say um, there's something about Mary. You remember uh, being stiller? Uh, Jennifer Aniston where um, he had just got out of a toxic relationship. I'm talking about <laughs> he thought that she fit in to the status quo but little did he know she was just I mean she was just a karmic partner here and he played everything so safe he was so reserved, he was so calculated he was so analytical he was so um, he didn't take unnecessary risk it had to make sense because he had a machine, he had a method where he, he he even put her in there. He felt like she was too much of a risk, but she was a free spirit. But it, it turns out that he ended up having to come out of his comfort zone because he realized that he had a beautiful opportunity for himself. Now, the moral of that story is like, remember, he, he was doing things that he never would have done. Like, for instance, eat peanuts at the bar. Now, most people are not going to do that, but he, you know, he, he had a fetish like that. But he ended up salsa dancing with her. But one of the things that was really funny to me is that everything that he ordinarily don't do, he did it for her. Like he knew that he couldn't, he, what he had, irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> and so the spicy Moroccan food was going to tear him up. But he went, went to that restaurant like a soldier. He was sitting there sweating. And she was like, you all right? He was like, yeah, <laughs> trying to act normal. He went in there to use the bathroom, but the stall was busy. So he ended up going to her house and excusing himself to go to the bathroom. Now, one thing you should never do is take a dump on a first date in nobody's house, but he couldn't help it. But she didn't have tissue. And so he ended up need, using her, her fupa, or I think it's the thing that you wash your back with. He used that to, to clean himself. <laughs> and he made the toilet overflow. So needless to say, because that was their first date. When they got to the door, she was like, oh, this was nice, <laughs> you know, and... It's like you usually don't bounce back for, from things like that, but she knew that he really was a good guy. But I'm saying a lot of times you could be dealing with somebody here who is set in their way. Um, they do everything strictly by, by the books, what they think is right. Everything has to be precise in their life because they need to change or open up to new horizons. And it could represent you too. You could be playing the say, which I don't feel like as your Scorpios are so bold and daring here. Uh, but... You may have somebody here who is, you're not their usual type. Um, he even got jealous. You remember, he didn't even know how to salsa. And he went and took lessons just so, just, so, just so she wouldn't dance with nobody else. And so that, you know, he ended up liking it. Ain't that something? But ain't it something because he ended up marrying that woman, I believe. Y'all remember the first woman that he married, he took on their on honeymoon and, and the instructor took her. <laughs> she said, I think we're in love. He said, already? <laughs> What did you do to her? <laughs> it was like the most insulting life. And then to add insult to injury, this muscular, very nice physique, the guy had to get him a ride on the back of him on the moped while he clinging to him and he done stole his wife. <laughs> oh my God, that was a funny movie. Y'all want a good laugh. Y'all want to watch a good romantic movie that's going to uplift your spirit. It's going to show you it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to fail. It's okay to be embarrassed, you know, or feel, you know, but you're only human. And the right person is going to look past those faults and somebody's going to see beauty in you, Scorpio, because you are worthy of love and you deserve love. So check it out. Your overall energy is new beginnings. Look at that door open. They look like a door, see? It's time for you to walk onto the other side. It also represents that the door is open to you for new beginnings. See, and then right behind this, ooh, Scorpio, see, see, new beginnings, blessings, and fertility. There it is, see, see, there it is, Scorpio, see. 
So you got new beginnings. This is a new time for Scorpios. In your endeavors, whether it, ooh, whether it is love, career, but I feel like it's, you remember that Empress is very, very fertile. It says fertility, so that means that new beginnings of abundance. Wow, Scorpios. I didn't even see all the other cards. It says this card heralds a new chapter, a brand new chapter in your Scorpio life. You've already noticed challenges or even breakdowns in relationships that have always been familiar to you, both at work and in other situations. This is because you're at a turning point in your life and certain factors need to leave before the good stuff can come in. It's been a long, hard slog, but there is a glimmer of hope sparkling in the distance that indicates a destiny you've been wishing for. See, there it is. You see that light beckoning you in? There it is. See, you got something new. A new door is open to you, Scorpio. See, and it's magical. Look at those butterflies. See? So it says, this is because, wait a minute. New ideas, successful projects, and golden opportunities await. You have a second chance. Throw caution to the wind and trust in the great mystery as you walk into your future. Now, your magical meaning says start living in the present. New opportunities await. The situation is being healed. The outcome is far greater than you imagine. You have a chance to reinvent your Scorpio self. See? Because you got blessings and you have fertility. For some of y'all, don't come for me. You got unresolved issues. Look, reconciliation in the reverse. See? Some of y'all may have a new beginning in a new direction. Look, you got a new beginning in some endeavor, but I'm finna read it for you because this is a learning moment. This is so you know what you're working with. You got it, honey. It says, when you desire someone else to experience the world through the sacred eyes of sanctity, honor, and gratitude, then you offer them a great blessing. This is a wonderful way to work with the pure energies of the universe and to attract a carnicopia of abundance in your life. Remember that everything you send out comes back to you threefold, so open yourself up to receive great blessings from your guides, angels, and great masters. As you say prayers, look, it say praise, see? As you say prayers for the world, dedicate candles, partake in yoga and spiritual books, chat, chants, and burn incense as you raise your vibration and truly light up your life and ultimately the world. See, Scorpio, so what Spirit is showing me is that it's not just about the blessings that you can have. Scorpio, it's about you being the blessing. You're the blessing. You've been the blessing the whole time, see? And for some of you guys, your life is going to show you that. Because this is the Empress energy here, see? Spirit say, not only are you a blessing to others, you are just a blessing here. And you have new beginnings in it, Scorpio. So let's see your magical meaning in your blessings and magical meaning in your fertility for your FYI. It says, count your blessings. Give thanks for all the good in your life. The approval you seek is giving. A dream comes true. A kind act brings great blessings. Look at you, Scorpios. Look at you, see? Because you are a blessing, blessings are coming your way. All right? That's what Spirit is saying. You're attracting this. Now, your magical meaning and fertility, a long-awaited pregnancy is confirmed. A birth is announced. Acknowledge your ideas. A new venture is successful. Your hard work has paid off. It's time to celebrate, see? And that's what it is for Scorpio. So let's see. You're starting this energy off with the strength card. Courage, strength, Leo energy, followed by the hangman though. Pisces energy. I feel like something is changing. Somebody's building the courage. You may need to build your courage for this new beginning to walk through the door of abundance. Walk through this magical door so that you can experience this happiness 
because it belongs to you because this is what you have sown. So why is new beginnings here for Scorpio? What else for Scorpios? What else for Scorpios? You got new beginnings, blessings, and fertility. <clears throat> Show me Scorpios. Ooh, but they go to Eight of Cups. They go to Fool. Here we go. For some of y'all, y'all gonna leave the past behind because you got this door beckoning you. Something is good here. Seven of Pentacles. Scorpios. Four swords. Somebody may have been trying to resist you. You may have walked away from somebody and they're trying to act like they don't care, but they do. They go the Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, the Hermit. You could have a, a Virgo, a Leo, a Aries, <clears throat> Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, mm. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. What's going on for Scorpios in this new beginnings? Six of Pentacles. Balancing the scales. Being generous. Somebody may be coming to give you some type of gift. They go to Ace of Swords. Underneath the bottom is the Lovers, Gemini. And they go to King of Wands. I wondered, is there a choice for you? So for some of y'all, y'all got doors open to you. And I saw that in another reading here. <clears throat> You may get different things from different situations here. And then it could be the same person here who is, you know, about to take the actions after a separation here, after time off, after time apart. You remember you saw reconciliation in the reverse. But there's definitely blessed new opportunities here for Scorpius because you are a blessing. So let's see for Scorpios. Use your heart and not your mind, Scorpios. And this could be you or it could be somebody that you're dealing with. <clears throat> Fall is so beautiful. This is a good time to sit outside. I may go outside today, but I just kind of relaxed because it was... It was dark and windy yesterday, so I spirit said, sit down. I just sat down and rested. <clears throat> it's, it kind of reminded me of like when you're young and you with your granny, or you, most of your grannies will say that, turn that TV off. Get down and sit somewhere while the Lord, let, let, while, while the Lord do his work. Sit down somewhere. When you let the Lord do his work and you be sitting here with bucked eyes <laughs> and scared. <clears throat> Yeah, there was a need to kind of pull back. It's almost like, to me, energetically, it's almost like, kind of reminds me of like the Ten Commandments when they came and they smeared the doors to be so that the house could be protected. But there was an ominous, there was an ominous energy associated with it. It's almost like, look away why this happens, you know. <clears throat> that ain't got nothing to do with you. You look away. So let's see. But that's on a whole nother level right there, Scorpio. <clears throat> so don't forget to follow me on TikTok. Follow you. I mean, thank you, beautiful, amazing Scorpios who are already following me on TikTok. Don't forget, I'm still offering my fall special where you can get two questions answered for $10 or a 30-minute reading for $30. Also, don't forget to check out Outer Spirit if you want to collect you or uh, flex your wrists. Uh, for a 20% discount, check out the description box for that below as well. Now, when I do my next uh, pull, I'm going to be pulling two winners next time. So bear with me. I haven't forgotten. So they go to four swords here. Like I said, I'm almost at, I know I'm probably at a thousand, over a thousand by now. They go to star. Look, you got the four swords, <clears throat> the ten of cups. You got a new beginning in a relationship. Huh? Let's see. Why is the strength here for Scorpios? Clarify strength. Uh, building the courage, finding the courage to what get somebody's gonna find the courage to gotta find my way back to you, Scorpio. Gotta find my way back to us to love. 
Somebody trying to find their way back to your love, huh? See, somebody ain't happy, but somebody got to do something about it. I feel like somebody is trying to resist this temptation or this pulling at them. Look at y'all, look. Now we going, we doing this. So y'all resisting somebody with that queen of swords. Y'all trying to get somebody a cold shoulder and act like you got it under control and you're unbothered. Oh my goodness. But there is some communication that's going to be had, I feel like. Why is the strength card here for Scorpios? See, it's time, it's time for you to put the sword down and let your guards down. I feel like somebody is not forgiving. And it's, it may be blocking. But I don't feel like it's blocking because you got new beginnings here. It's like if someone didn't know that you was a blessing to them, they're going to realize it after the fact, Scorpio. But you know, most people don't get it then. So now you know what to do, see? And there go the, there go the strength card in the reverse. And there go the lovers. Gemini. Oh my gosh. I feel like both of y'all playing. And I know this ain't going to be for everybody. That's why it's a general. But the overall energy is new beginnings, blessings, and fertility. All right? So don't miss that part because that's, uh, that's the main event, okay? So it's almost like being stern, controlling your emotions once you realize it's not being reciprocated. There could be a lot of arguing, a lot of fussing and fighting because you got the five of wands. You got the king and the queen of swords. They do a lot of communicating, but they're cold towards each other. So what's going to happen here? Somebody's clearly walked away. I feel like somebody's tired of trying to resist this connection. Somebody's... See? Ooh. They go to King of Cups. Somebody's been trying to resist how they feel. Now, either that's y'all or that's them. Somebody's been trying to act like it don't matter when it they it really do. So that's how come you got the strength card steady showing up because it's not going to be easy. If you in love with somebody, prove it. Somebody's going to have to stand on that. <laughs> They going to know if this is real or not because if they really have the feelings for you, like I feel like it is, then their feelings is going to make them do something that maybe they ordinarily didn't want to do or felt the courage to do because some of y'all may have already walked away. Why is the hangman here for Scorpios? And y'all probably ain't looking back, especially with that fertility energy. Y'all had to figure out that you deserve better. You don't want no cold, detached drill sergeant. Because if you show up in the queen and they the king, then that means that y'all mirroring each other. So it's almost like y'all and y'all fed up with it. See, look, the four ones. There go that twin flame king and the queen of swords. So somebody may somebody may have not somebody may come back around, but they're not putting in much of an effort here. But I feel like somebody feels bad because you're not offering them anything. See? They go to Queen of Cups. Now you got the King and the Queen of Cups. King and the Queen of Swords and the King and the Queen of Cups. See there? And they go to Page of Pentacles. See how small that is? And somebody is regretting it. See? Because there go the Wheel of Fortune. See? So once again, Scorpio, somebody or somebody, and this looks, because I feel like this is something, this is why somebody is having a hard time letting go of this, because you know that if you don't treat somebody right, it's going to be hard to get over that person. See, that's why you got reconciliation in the reverse. Now, either this is on your end or this is on their end, but the will of fortune is going to bring it right back around. This somebody you walked away from, Scorpios, because there you there you go with the Eight of Cups. Or you're trying to act like you you don't you don't feel nothing for this person because you got the Queen of Swords, you got the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. All right. So it's like whoever this energy is, you guys are mirroring each other, and y'all ain't getting nowhere. I'm just saying it's life. You got to do what you got to do. That's the only way you're gonna learn. But I can see it. It's almost like y'all playing games with each other, but you got all this new energy here. 
And for other Scorpios, you got, you playing games with somebody energetically. You may not be doing it physically, verbally, or physically, but energetically, there's games being played, but you got a, a, a opportunity here. So for some of you guys, you're going to have to walk through this door just, just to see if this is going to be good or not, because you may not see the signs. You may not get clarity, okay? But like I said here... <laughs> You got the Ace of Swords here, so somebody may be coming in, but I feel like this somebody you're not with. The Eight of Cups. Regardless, you got new beginnings, blessings, and fertility. See, Eight of Cups, the lovers, Gemini. Somebody walking away from something. Walking away from what? Could have been them. You could have walked away from this person because they wasn't offering much. See, they go to Emperor and the Ace of Pentacles. So I can see that. For some of you guys, this person could have been in love with you, but just love a very unhealthy way. Or for some of you guys, it takes you leaving them. You know, you... <laughs> If, if, if they ain't giving you what you know you deserve and you know you loving them right and all those things and it's not reciprocated, that's that's a, that's a, that's a red flag right there. Leave them alone. See, somebody's trying to recover from this, see? But they're thinking. See? It's heavy on them. Oof, love. Love is so messy, isn't it? But you got that lover's card here. Underneath the bottom, now you got it up here. Maybe this person didn't want to. Maybe this person didn't want to be more than your lover. Maybe they were cold and selfish. But I wonder what's about to change because something is changing here. So why is the Four of Swords here again for Scorpios, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius? Got the Four of Swords here twice: the King and the Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords. Mm, four of swords. Look, knight of swords. Somebody want to talk. Somebody want to get something off their chest now, see? Because there go the ace of swords, see? There it is, see? And there is judgment, see? Somebody is gaining clarity, Scorpios. There's a, com there's a serious conversation that's about to be had between you and your twin flame or you and your soulmate. I feel like somebody regrets how they handled this connection because they could have handled it better. See, two of pentacles. In the reverse, this was somebody here who probably manipulated the situation in order to have control over the situation, only to lose control because now you got the king and the queen of cups, the queen and the king of swords. So this person probably was cold. Y'all was in love. Now that y'all not in love and y'all fighting it, now they in love. See? I'm scratching my leg. Don't come for me. Give me another card for this four swords for Scorpius. Could be a Taurus. Somebody used to try to suppress their feelings. They can't suppress it anymore, Scorpio. Somebody can no longer suppress how they feel about you. See? And they go to Six of Pentacles. Being generous here. Somebody giving, receiving. I feel like the more somebody taps in about their real feelings for you, the more they're more open to be generous and be more kinder and, you know, sweeter towards you. Because this King of Cups is a loving energy. So why is this a uh, fool here? So Scorpios, what's up with this new beginnings with this fool? This is a fresh start. This is taking a leap of faith. This is getting out of your comfort zone. This is putting yourself out there and hoping for the best here. Because somebody may be banking on the fact that maybe they really trust that you care. So, so you could have you could have showed this person that you love them, but they was hiding, they was hiding how they felt about you. So this is someone here who knows you care about them because you've shown it. But I feel like it wasn't reciprocated though. So yeah, I can feel how this person will have a hard time trying to come back because they may have burned their bridges here. See, ooh. That's why spirits say that the door to abundance is almost like the door to happiness here. Because the fool card is coming up with the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. See? Wow. 
right. That's your long term. That's your we in it to win it type of energy. That that's your I ain't going nowhere type of card. See, Scorpios could be an Aries, could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn here. Wow, see, there go the sun, Leo. For some of y'all, you got a Leo here. Leo or Aries. Why is the fool here for Scorpios with this new beginnings and blessings? See? The fool card, see, they go to star card, healing, they go to magician. Look at all these major cards with this fool card. See all the games they used to play? See, somebody is. So tonight I get the into the feeling. Scorpio, you're everything. See that? That's a defeated energy right there. From all of the manipulation that they was doing, they end up falling in love. See? See? And no wonder. See? There you go, mama. There go that fertility. There it is. Did I see the emperor? And your emperor in the reverse. See? Could be a Libra. Could be a Leo. Could be an Aries. So someone can't, someone does see themselves being with you with this food card. Some of y'all want a fresh start somewhere else. You want a fresh start somewhere else while your past want a fresh start with you. Look, and they go to Ace of Wands. See? Huh? This person is waiting, Scorpio. They waiting on you to come back to them because you clearly walked away. Either they're waiting on you to come back to them. Waiting on you to call because you somebody may be used to you always getting back in contact with them or something or checking on them. They waiting. But they're going to they gonna be more open this time. If you go back, they're going to be there open, see? They're not sleeping good because somebody has a lot of regrets, see? You see how you be affecting folks? They go to tower, see? Sometimes it don't hit them till they don't have it no more. Sometimes people don't appreciate your presence once again to after they have to deal with your absence, okay? So for some of you, your absence is speaking volumes in their life now. See how you affecting them? So if this person was acting unbothered, this same person is in love. And, and when you in love, that's what keep you up all night long, God dang it. When you don't care, you sleep good, don't you? Uh, I wait. Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought, because I know. <laughs> I done stayed up many a nights back in the day, can't sleep, and still got to get my tail up and go to work and take that bird and with me over some pissy tail, man. Oh, I know what that feel like. They see what it feel like, too. Cause if it don't have, if it ain't touching your heart, it's not gonna have you. Now you gonna sleep like a baby, but they ain't able to sleep. So let's see, what's up with this King of Swords for Scorpios? Clarify the King of Swords. You're always on my mind. Somebody say you too much, God dang it! They, you got the utmost respect from this person. Cause if they gonna act treat you bad, you gonna treat them bad back. But the only reason why, but somebody know underneath all of that, they know you a lover because they know you full of love because you got the queen of cups. For some of you guys, this person probably fell in love with you the very first time they was with you, but they wasn't ready for all of that or they couldn't handle it. See, king of swords, seven of swords in the reverse. See, see there, see there, see, 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 see. They say, I, I don't know what this <laughs> They say, they don't know what you're selling. <laughs> but they don't want it. <laughs> See there? <clears throat> Once again, somebody wasn't ready for you, Scorpios, because this was somebody who was all about their money and their career. They was not trying to fall in love, but they fell helplessly in love with you anyway. See? Seven of Cups in the reverse. This is somebody here who was all about their career and their, their immediate lifestyle. Somebody could have been a provider for somebody here. So they played games. But like I said, Scorpios, them games would laugh now, cry later. Y'all probably cried over this person. Some of y'all probably was in love with this person here too. 
One more card for this King of Swords. For Scorpius, clarify the King of Swords. Could be a Capricorn. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. King of Swords, please. See? And there go the freaking wheel of fortune. There it is. See there? What goes around comes around. And if things was uh, bad, it's going to come back around. And now y'all going to have another opportunity here. Now, whether you want it or not, I know you got the opportunities here. Let me remind you, because I don't need y'all talking to me about an ex. You know what you're going to look. Either some of y'all want your ex and some of y'all don't. Regardless if you want an ex or something new, it is here. If you want an ex, you got a new beginning with the ex. If you want a new person, you got a new beginning with them. You see how the sun is breaking forth, see? Not to mention blessings and fertility here, see? So you're going to get it one way or the other, Scorpio, is what I feel. So now you got the seven of pentacles. What's up with the seven of pentacles for Scorpios? Seven of pentacles. Clarify the seven of pentacles. The Fool. Aries energy. We already got the Fool card. See, because they go to Five of Pentacles. <laughs> Let me show you this other Fool energy. See? You got the Fool. Ten of Pentacles, boo. The Sun. The Empress. And the Ace of Wands. See? Now you got the seven of pentacles. This is taking stock. This is also uh, what they, somebody know that they can see growth with you. They, they Somebody already know you to package deals, Scorpio. They were the ones with the problem. That's why you got the emperor in the reverse with the devil card here. Somebody was all about their bag. Somebody said, oh, you ain't finna, you ain't finna dump all that love on me. But you know what happens when you don't show love no more? Because you already showing a match of their energy, mirroring them. You they the king of swords, you the queen of swords. See? They start feeling it then. See? Somebody's been waiting on you to come back. Now somebody can't play it safe no more. They're gonna have to get off the couch because you got the four swords, see? Look, the emperor of the four swords, see? And it's a burden on them because they used to control and everything, but now they gotta give, they gotta open up. And the reason why they're going to is because they're in love, see? Five of Pentacles, they don't want to be out in the cold. They don't like that side of you because you got them spoiled on the other side, see? They said they remember, they remember the warmth, see? See there, this person's into you, Scorpio, seven of pentacles. <laughs> oh, my God, Scorpio, see? You got to be careful how you treat people because people may not want to come back. People may not want a second chance. But for y'all, some of y'all, y'all got a second chance, whether you got a second chance from the past or a new beginning moving up. Seven of Pentacles, nine of Pentacles. Here, see? I feel like you made this person feel insecure, even when they may have everything going. This is somebody here who, now for some of y'all, once again, because I saw that somewhere else, somebody may have left other situations to come to you a free person here. But others, I feel like this person is realizing that they don't want to be out of your life. This could have been a very, very cocky person who wasn't looking for more. So for some of y'all, this person realizing that you ain't going to come back, why should you? They didn't, they, didn't, they didn't sow the right seeds for you to come back, see? And there go the chariot. I feel like somebody is worried that you're going to move on and find happiness somewhere else, see? There they go again, see? Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles? Y'all could be dealing with a, a, a Cancer, a fixed sign like Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. You got Aries here, Libra here. Six of Pentacles, the world, a completion, cycles, distance, travel, rewards, new beginnings. It's also starting all over again, too. Somebody could be coming back in to, 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 to completely wipe the slate clean and start off with you the right way, like relationships that really care about each other do. Ten of Swords, see, somebody's letting go of something. Y'all, it could be y'all. But with the Six of Pentacles, this is, because you look at this, this is the scales. You would think that this is justice, but no, it's time for somebody to, to balance the scales. 
And in order for them to have anything with you, it has to be fair. It can't be one-sided where all they out for is what they want. Because you're a freaking empress. Y'all ain't got to put up with that. Six of Pentacles. So this person know that they shortchanged you and denied you what was rightfully yours. And that was honor and respect. Because I feel like they didn't. But they go to Eight of Wands. So this person going to come back to you and have some type of... Com I feel like somebody won't explain themselves. See, they go to Magician card. Could be a Pisces. So yeah, this person is re ready to uh, open up to you. Somebody feels like they're going to have to stand in their truth and somebody's going to have to tell you how they really feel. Hopefully, hoping that maybe this can offer a new beginning. One more card for the Six of Pentacles for Scorpios. See, here they come. Page of Cups, see? This time away from you has humbled this person. They go to Ace of Swords. Here come this conversation. Communication, a breakthrough, victory, success, a new beginning with the truth, without the games, without the lies, without the mind games, just something of uh, integrity. Because, see, here they come. Knight of Cups. Now, it could also represent you guys have gained clarity and now you're offering your love and you're moving on somewhere else. But I feel like this person's going to open up to you on an emotional level. See, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody wants to give this relationship their undivided attention because somebody realizing that ain't nothing going to happen if they don't do it because you've already tried. <laughs> you ain't finna rush back to them for them to try to hurt you again. No, you ain't doing this, see? Look at them watching you, see? I told you, there they go. Look at them. Page of Swords, Nine of Swords, that's them. See? Because they are experiencing a major realization, a major epiphany. Because you know, that's what the Ace of Swords bring. It brings clarity. It, 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 it washes away all those illusions of grandeur. Because somebody thought that the world revolved around them. Scorpios, that King of Swords and King of Pentacles. But, but something divine, something is divine here. So obviously you, you came into this person's right life for a divine purpose, but they didn't want to acknowledge that. So they cannot no longer act like they don't see it because it's right here in their face now, Scorpio. See, you done made an impact on this person's life. Now they want to come back together. Somebody says that you add balance to their life. See? And they go to Six of Cups in the reverse. They go there. It's the same card as the reconciliation in the reverse. There's unfinished business with y'all. Some of y'all done got the best. Y'all, some of y'all got the worst part of your divine masculine or your two of cups. Now, for some of y'all with this will of fortune, it's time to experience the other side of that will of fortune. But is it too late? Huh? I I, I didn't hear you. Because you definitely have new beginnings and blessings here. Now, I know y'all probably care about the packaging. And, and, and who it come through, but regardless of who it come through, you better understand what you have here. When love comes, Scorpio and the person you're dealing with, you better answer. You better answer. Don't let it slip away too many times because love may not come again. Maybe this is what they're realizing. Maybe this is what you're going to have to realize. So let's pull you some, um, quickly, uh, y'all, y'all, uh, pray about your answer. And hopefully this will bring you some type of answer from these angels' answers here. Spirit, what is for Scorpio tie is good? What are the further messages for Scorpios? What do Scorpios need to know? Please bring clarity within this spread, within this pool for Scorpios. Yes, no, or whatever, Spirit, bring clarity for Scorpios with this new beginning, blessings, and fertility in this relationship here. What do Scorpios need to know? Let's see. Yeah, they having a uh, they they pulling for this beautiful truck down at the casino, but I ain't going. It's just it just be so chaotic down there. You can't find no parking place and all the machines busy. I guess I could go down there and eat, but I'm gonna wait. But anyway, you got remain positive. There it is. Remain positive, Scorpios. That's what spirit is telling you. Remain positive. Once again, whether you get it or not, still remain positive. It says ask for help from others. So you got to remain positive. What else for Scorpios? Are there any other messages for Scorpios that Scorpio need to know about this new beginning? Remain positive. Really, that's all you need because that's going to determine everything right there. Within the next few me 
So spirits say within the next few weeks, I guess this is about to manifest. So that's why your thoughts play a vital role. Stay positive, Scorpio, because something is about to manifest within the next few weeks, Scorpio. See? See, look, and it keep on getting better. Look, there goes success, see? So these are your answers. I don't know what questions you ask, but here are your questions here. I mean, here are your answers. Remain positive because something is about to happen within the next few weeks that's going to bring you a lot of success here, Scorpios, all right? So that's your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe.